Hello and welcome back to Scotland's 19th hole. Thanks again for uh, tuning into the video. Today we're going to try something different. I'm going to give you three tips on how to help your game. It's not going to be anything technical. It's just three little things you can do to uh, kind of help you on on game day or competition day or whatever. So, but before we do that, I just want to say thanks very much to everyone that subscribed. Uh, we reached 100 subs during the week there. So I, this is a little appreciation video as well to say thanks very much for the support. And uh, if you're new here, why don't you drop a wee like and a comment. And if you like what you've seen, then a wee sub as well. So let's get into it. So first up for me, the first thing that I would recommend that you do is uh, a warm up before you start your round. I see a lot of golfers just rocking up out the car, shoes on, check in, straight on the tee, couple of swings and away they go. Now, I don't know if you've ever played any other sports, but if you rock up, try and play football. For instance, straight off the bat, no running or anything, you're pretty much asking to get hurt. Golf's no different. So for me, I like to come up to the practice area and uh, hit a few balls, nothing mental, 10-15 minutes on the range. Just come up, start with a wedge, work your way uh, through the bag if you've got time, but if you've only got like 5-10 minutes or whatever, a few hits with a the, with the wedge and then a few fuller swings with like a, an 8 or a 7 iron. And that will see you through. The body will be loosened off, and you'll know roughly how you're how you're feeling on the day. So I'll just do a wee a wee demo, a couple of things that I like to do. I like to get the 56, and just kind of do like a half swing to get the feel. Yeah. So like I say, I just like to grab the 56, and this is just how I start my warm up. And I'm I'm just getting some feel, just some. Working on that contact. Four or five. Just to loosen off. And there's a wee thin, beautiful. That's because we're still we're still not warm. So if you're stepping on the first tee and you've not warmed up, expect one of them. That's nice. Nice. So yeah, that's the 56. We have swing. Then I'll maybe bring it back up. Four or five with a full swing. Now, as you can feel yourself warming up, you can, you know yourself that you're getting a bit loose. Starting to get your time and everything a bit good. That's when I like to up it. Just going to go with a nine iron a day because it's raining and I didn't really want to run miles. But then I'll just go straight in to the half swing with a nine as well. Tell you what, these are these are going quite nice. Bit heavy that one. Now I'm going to hit a couple full swing, and then we'll head on down to the putting green. Oh, tell you what, lads, I'm striking it the day. Beautiful. Last one. Let's finish on a good one. Oh, yeah. That was sweet. So, yeah, that's what I will say. We warm up. Try and finish on a good one so you're going in with some positive vibes. Right, so as I was saying, if you're uh, on the practice area, or if your club doesn't have a practice area but it's got a net, that's just as good to get a wee swing to get the feel and get warmed up before you before you go on course. So
Again, doesn't have to be anything special. 10, 15 shots on the net. Should be enough to get you loosened off before you play. Failing that, if you've no net, no practice area, what you can do is just grab another club so that you've got two clubs and just nice and slow do a couple of little swings and that gets you warmed up as well it's a little heavier you've got to slow that swing down to control the movement but you're still loosening off the the muscles that you're going to be using so if you try those then we can head to the putting green and we can see what i like to do to try and get warmed up for that okay so for the first drill i'm not even going to aim at a flag or anything i'm just going to try and the first putt is going to go wherever and then the next putts to go a wee bit further and then a wee bit further maybe two three foot past you just try to gauge the speed of the greens and how they're rolling So we're aiming for a few feet past that one. And then, then a few feet past that one again. Maybe a bit too far in the last one, but you get the idea. That's all we're trying to do. You can do that two or three times. Then once you've got the speed, you maybe want to just get a little bit of confidence. Just get three balls from different angles and what you want to try and do is hold them all one take hopefully we can do this so there's one two this one's a wee bit further pressure part here and three so yeah give that a go and we'll see how we get on okay so tip number two guys and I know this may not, you may have to step outside your comfort zone to do this, but it's um, try and play with some better players. Uh, don't be scared when you see the, the sheet up, a couple of low boys there. Um, just go and shove your name next to them. You know, they're not going to be like, oh, why is he playing with me kind of thing. Just go and play with some better players. You'll be able to learn off them, whether that be like how they react after a bad shot, because trust me, even the good players hit bad shots. Uh, not that I'm a good player, but you know everyone hits bad shots. Even like how they, how they approach a different shot. So you might always try and do a type of shot around the green from a situation. They might open your eyes to some new variations of shots that you can then go and work on and stuff like that. And if they're if they're nice, they might they might give you a few tips along the way as well. So yeah, don't be shy. If you, if you don't have any like friends or know anyone that's like better than you that you can try and feed off in practice rounds and stuff like that, um, just put your name down next to somebody that's a wee bit better than you in competitions and then you can you can learn off them. A tip number three, this might come as a bit of a curveball, but um, it's not golf related, but you need to um, fuel your body. Yep, nutrition. Who's this guy? But no... We've all been there, we're four holes to go, we're on a score, and all you're thinking about is either the pint at the end of the round, or some form of food to try and get you, to get you over the line. Um, it's not a good place to be, but if you're on a score, and you've got say maybe a banana, a sandwich, even a Lucas Aids energy drink, or any, like anything that you can get in your body, to give you that less we push over the edge is uh, is de definitely a little tip that I, I would put out there because you're out in the course for maybe three, four hours at a time, sometimes even five, through what I heard at the weekend. But uh, yeah, I aim to eat every five holes. So you've, you've woke up, you've had your breakfast or whatever time you're teeing off, you've had your breakfast, 
you're playing for three or four hours, you're four holes to go, you're on a score, and fatigue hits in, and there's nothing worse because you're duffing shots, you're mistiming things, you're thinking about things that you shouldn't be thinking about, which is a big thing. You know, if you can just concentrate on your golf rather than thinking about food or drink, then that goes a long way as well. So yeah, fuel your body. I'm not saying you have to dial in calories and all this nonsense. Just get whatever you want in your body to keep you focused on the task at hand. Thanks for watching, guys. If you made it to the end, I totally appreciate that. Um, if you want to give a wee like and comment, that would be cool. Or give me some feedback. If you've tried these tips, how you got on. Uh, oh, okay, it's going to fall. Is it going to fall? That's a big bit of wind there. We've got the baby stand out. Anyway. Yeah, so if you stay to the end, thanks. And if you want to have a wee subscribe to the channel and watch some of the other videos, I would totally appreciate that as well. Now that we've hit 100, let's see if we can hit 200. That's the next goal. We've just got to keep setting goals and see how we get on. Thank <laughs> you.